Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna talk potty training. Um, we just finished doing this, or like we're still working on it, but we got over the hardest part last week. And it's already been a week almost, I did it last Wednesday. And so anyway, I just wanted to share my experience and what worked for us. Um, I'm not an expert or a pro, I'm just a mom trying to figure out all these things as I go. So I'm not saying this is what you should do or this is you know the right way but it's just what worked for us so i just wanted to share so if you're interested keep watching and don't forget to like this video if you like it and um subscribe and share with any mama friends of yours that are maybe kind of reaching this milestone it was something I mean, look it was something i was dreading and kept putting it off and off oh just because God. it seemed a little overwhelming and i didn't know where to start so Anyway, uh, we will get started. Yay. Are you potty trained? I'm potty trained. Good job. Okay, so to start off with, I'm just gonna show y'all the potty itself. Um, so I got this one from Amazon. They also have it in like a blue and a turquoise color, I think. And here's Mila. Anyway, this one is awesome. She can step up and um, sit on it herself. And then down here, those little ridges right there, you can move it up or down depending on how tall your toilet is. And anyway, I kept this little basket back here with stuff that I'll go over. And then her little doll also potty trained with us. Okay, so I also had this little chart in here hanging up. I didn't have tape, so I just used washi tape. Um, and I just got this off of Pinterest. I don't remember like the actual page or else I would say her info right here um it is wet from her washing her hands and then picking out stickers and um if i have time i might just design one and attach it or link it down below but if not they're so easy to find all over the internet and we just used random stickers that we had and you can see like popsicles frozen puppy dogs and so i tried to change it up just to keep it a little exciting for her um so anyway i'll show you all the things that i had in that basket and just um, and share with you what I did. Okay, so, um, gosh, my hair is always so frizzy. So to begin with, um, the first day, we did it last Wednesday, and we went straight to panties, and we do pull-ups at nighttime and during the naps, but we just went straight to panties because I didn't want her to still think it was a diaper and just confuse her a little bit or whatever. So we just went to panties and then these are the ones that we started off with. Um, my mother-in-law had gotten these for us a while back, but they're, they're so cute. It was like a pack of six, I think, from Amazon and they're like padded at the bottom. So when they, if they do have accidents, it kind of soaks it up more than just a regular panty. And I, just, I really like these, these are really cute. And I feel like they like hug. She's a little bit of a smaller toddler, I guess, for her size. And these are 2T slash 3T. And they just like hug a little bit better. And then um, I also, because there were only six of those in the first day, you'll go through. I mean, well, maybe not everybody, but I went through a lot. I picked up, a, I put in a Target order for <laughs> some more. Sorry, any, Mila came in here. Um, so anyway. I got these from Kat and Jack, and they're just little tiny panties. They're so cute. And these were great too. I just, I did like the Amazon ones a little bit better. But I mean, these are good to get used to because these are more like the normal kind of panties that they're gonna wear. And these were, it was like a 10 pack for like eight or nine dollars. So anyway, we did use those. And to start, my mother in law had got me this book a while back and it was potty training in three days and um i didn't read like every single page because i don't know i'm just horrible about like making time to read because during the day like i have Mila all day long and trying to keep her busy and we read her books and that sort of thing and then um just trying to do housework and then at night time is when i do like my cookies or my invite work or work on my blog whatever so anyway, I did skim it and um, also I get really overwhelmed when I'm reading a book and there's like so many instructions and so many like what 
like to do's not to do's and so basically I skimmed it and then I asked my friends kind of what they did my mom whatever and just kind of mushed it all together and so I did mostly I followed this the training in three days and so what I did was the very first also be sure to like plan ahead and have all these things ready I did try to start two weeks ago but I just had like the little potty and I don't know she just refused to sit on it because I think she thought it was like a chair and so she would sit and not want to take her panties off not I don't know she just was not having it and then I thought well I might as well get a seat for the toilet so that it's not adding an extra step having to get her from the little potty to the big potty and like when she's at my mother-in-law's or my mom's house um she wouldn't be like intimidated by the big toilet or I wouldn't have to ask them to get a little potty or take haul it around so anyway I just thought it was adding an extra step by using the little potty so I did order that seat that I just showed you from Amazon and that one is great and it was under thirty dollars and I will I will link everything that I used below and so that one was great and then I did put a basket in there of things and like again I said just be prepared I I didn't really like I woke up Wednesday and I wasn't planning on doing it or anything and then just around lunch around like 10 o'clock I was like oh let's just do this today. let's just get it over with because it was a good three days where we didn't have like a whole lot going on and I took a break from cookies or I just didn't take as many orders and so it just worked out but I think if I would have like had my mindset that the next day I was going to potty train it would have gone a lot smoother and I would have just been a little more um just like positive and not so flustered because I because the second day was so much better because I knew like okay we might have some accidents this might be a little long of a day but it's worth it and I just think the first day was very hard it was exhausting and I was just tired and then you know as a mom like you try not to but you get frustrated and so anyway just like pick a day and have your mindset on it so that way you go in like prepared and you know knowing that it might be a long day so anyway in my basket I have pull-ups because we do use those like I said at nighttime and during naps so I just have those in here for that and then I just had wipes for you know like any accidents and those sorts of things and just to clean up I did have like Clorox and those things right next to it as well just in the bathroom cabinet because you will need Clorox and bleach and mop whatever because there will be lots of accidents and I also uh, my mother-in-law she just set me up for all of this she had all the goods um, this book big girl panties I think there's a boy version as well and so she really enjoyed reading this book we read this one mostly each time we were on the potty and then this one's another one of her favorites and this one as well so I put these favorite books in the basket just to keep her occupied while she was in there and then her tablet is dead and but I did find she mostly just uses this whenever we go somewhere like in the car like long car rides or things like that she never really plays with it here but um I did download uh, a couple of apps so one was like a story if I could turn it on I could tell you exactly what it was but if you just search like potty training or potty a lot of things will come up if you have an iPad or one of these Amazon tablets um, but the one that she really liked was the Elmo potty training one that one had stories songs and then it had little games so it was like a potty puzzle or popping bubbles and so she would sit there and play it and it would keep her occupied and keep her on the potty for longer times so this was like super helpful and then I also hold on I forgot one thing okay so anyway another thing that I kept in there are these um, flushable wipes which these were like it was in a pack like this it was four of these for like seven dollars so that was a steal at Target and I keep one in her diaper bag and then one in her basket so when she goes like number two and you toilet paper doesn't cut it or these are just a little easier on them so these were great and then I also kept stickers so just like a variety of like random stickers I had these are ice creams these are like pet stickers and these are like a dollar for little packs at Michaels but I just happen to already have them and that's what I used 
and okay go over there real quick and then we'll go play outside in a minute okay and then I did this little potty is for her doll and um, she got this for Christmas from our aunt and it, it flushes and so this was fun to keep it in there because and every time that she would go potty I would take her she would take her dolly in there too so okay sorry I had to get Mila settled so anyway she did really enjoy this because every time we'd go in there she would take her dolly and she would say come on dolly it's time to potty and so I feel like it made her kind of feel like a big girl like she was teaching her little dolly so I mean that's not a must-have or anything it was just something fun that she had because that's the whole point of this is to start make it fun for them so that they're excited about it and it's not like a chore so anyway those are all the things and I kept that in the basket and just like on the toilet right behind her so everything would be handy and so anyway the first day we started around 10 o'clock and I just took her in there and I just was showing her the potty and we were excited about it and I just set her down just to see if she would sit on it or what she would do and she sat on there and you know I just kept telling her you know if you have to potty tell mommy and I probably said the word potty about 200 times that day I was like my voice was or my throat was seriously like scratchy that night because I was just talking all day long and kept saying tell me if you have to potty tell me if you have to go to the potty and I did read that it's better to just say potty and we're moms here so we're just gonna say pee and poop and it's just not gonna be a big deal instead of saying like tell me when you have to pee or tell me when you have to go poop um I feel like that confuses them and just adds like another layer of things for them and we have to simplify it as much as we can to them so I just said potty and um that way just anytime she knew that she had to go like one or the other she had to go to the potty and so i set my timer for every 15 minutes and so i just set her on there and i tried to keep her entertained for at least like five ten minutes just sitting on there and if she didn't go that was fine well then um i set my timer on my phone for 15 minutes and it's not like every 15 minutes like on the dot it's just you know you go and sit on there and whether she goes or not whatever when you're done uh, then you set a 15 minute timer and then just keep doing that not like at 10 10 15 10 30 because at first i was i don't know why i was thinking that and i got really overwhelmed with that and so anyway uh i also with between that 15 minute like interval i would try to give her like water or juice or milk just to keep liquids in her so that she would have to go and so that really helped because then the next time we'd go she had to go and so um but then i also you also obviously have to um feed them solid so that they'll also need to poop and but anyway i was just trying to get her to just pee in there because that's obviously the easiest for them and so we just did that all morning long and then she was kind of she would pee in there and it was fine but sorry i kept getting notifications on my phone and it was throwing me off so anyway so the first time that they do go you might go like a, couple, a few times in the morning where like nothing happens but it's okay just you have to stay consistent and continue to do it well then like the very first time that they go even if it's like a tiny bit of pee whatever it is just be so excited and jump up and down and you know give them high fives just make it really exciting and make them feel really good about doing that and because Mila would get so excited and um, high five me or whatever and so I think that keeps them motivated to want to keep trying and keep going and then I had that chart right there so I told her you know every time you go potty you get oh yeah that was another thing I had M&Ms so I had a little bowl of M&Ms and I was like every time you go potty you get a sticker and um, you get an M&M and so we did that every single time and she was getting excited about putting the stickers on and it just became routine like she knew like she was gonna get a sticker and then we'd run to the M&M bowl and get an M&M and um, and so she was keeping her panties on and then but I would say about like two o'clock she was kind of resisting she didn't she's been skipping her naps lately so that kind of made that day really exhausting too but like by two o'clock she was just exhausted 
about going to the potty every 15 minutes and so was I and so she was starting to resist and kind of just did not even want to go in there and then I was getting frustrated not showing her that I was getting frustrated but I was just like ah and that's another thing so if they have accidents don't make them feel bad for it and just you know just say it's okay but just next time tell mom you have to potty or whatever it may be and um so anyway, like around two o'clock that day, I just decided to stop doing the 15 minute thing and just watch her like a hawk. So on day one of potty training, you pretty much like have to commit and like that's all you're gonna do all day. Like housework, um, if you work from home like I do, everything else is just kind of put to the side that day because you literally have to be on top of them all day long. And so I would just watch her and just, you know, the second that she would start to squat or that I could tell her like she was messing around, like moving her legs around um, and I could tell she needed to pee or whatever, I would just rush her to the bathroom, which a lot of times she would just start and I would just run her over there to at least catch like the end of it on the potty. And so we lit we did that all day long, but it did help her um, want to start going again versus just forcing her to go every 15 minutes it you know and so we really just did that all day long just celebrating rewarding and not bribing not like okay if you do that then you just more so like good job like I'm so proud of you and I kept telling her all day like I'm so proud of you you're doing so good and um and also just reminding her to let me know when she had to potty and so that was basically the first day and we are still having trouble getting her to go number two and um she doesn't do it like in her panties she waits till i put a pull up on like at when she does take naps or at night time but um so we're still trying to kind of work on that and get her more comfortable with that but it's just important that you keep them on the potty because a lot of times like her she would sit on there for a minute and be like okay i'm done and just run away and so that's where like the books and the little tablet and stuff came in handy because it would just keep her sitting on there, sitting on there and um, just kind of give her a chance to actually do it. And then at nighttime, so we put pull-ups on and that was day one, which like I said, was so exhausting. It was hard and it was a lot of messes, but we got through it. And then the second day was so much better, which like I took, said before I told myself like I'm gonna be positive about this and I'm gonna just have a just have a good mindset and just know like it's okay there's gonna be accidents it might be hard and whatever so on um okay so anyway the second day it just clicked uh she ate breakfast and I took her to the potty which I was kind of nervous about it so I was like I don't know if she forgot like what all we did yesterday or if she was exhausted or whatever, but I just took, as soon as, um, no, it wasn't after we ate breakfast. As soon as she woke up, I changed her out of her pull-up and I put her panties back on and I reminded her that she had to go to the potty to let mommy know. And I took her to the potty and she just used it like nothing. And that whole day she was just doing great. Like she kept telling me or she would run herself. And on the second day, I did just leave her with no bottoms on because she was, there was honestly like a couple of times where I was like washing dishes because I, you could relax a little bit more and not have to like watch her like a hawk because she just made me feel comfortable that, you know, or I felt confident that she was kind of getting it. Okay, thank you for cleaning that. So there was a couple times that I was washing dishes or doing something and she would say, oh no, and she would take off to the potty all on her own and sit down by herself and without having to worry about taking off her panties. And so that did help us on the second day. And like I said, she did have, she had one accident and it was because she needed to go number two and she was taking off her panties and uh, just didn't make it on time, but she was going in the right direction. And so that's kind of when I decided like, let's just do it without bottoms today. And it worked, she did great all day long and we kept celebrating, kept doing the M&Ms, kept doing the stickers. And actually on the second day, we even went to my mom's bakery just for like 30 minutes, just to take her out because I was just, you know, it was just a long day the day before. And so I just wanted to get out for a minute. And she did so good. We went over there and she asked to use the potty when we were over there. And I was kind of nervous because there wasn't a potty seat on that one. And, but no, she just went like nothing. And 
so yeah so second day was a lot smoother and you know just reassured me that i was doing uh fine and teaching her because just the whole day, yeah. day one i was like am i even doing this right i don't know and i was so proud of her she did so good and then uh the third day even better and so the second day since she caught on i wasn't doing like the 15 minute thing and she literally would just tell me and so that was really nice and you know i know not everybody is like that kids learn all at their own pace and that's totally fine if they don't get it the first or second day or even the fifth day and so now it's been a week and she's done so good like at my mom's house or just like at both her grandma's houses wherever she goes she knows it to tell us and we did go for a grocery like curbside order yesterday we just put her in a pull up just because um, i didn't want to have to get take her out somewhere in like public and yeah so we're still going she's going strong we're on day like five or six and just not really any accident since the first day on day four she did just i had gotten her a bubble machine just to like reward her for doing so good and she was so excited to play with it she didn't tell me when she had to go but then so she just peed in her panties right there where we were playing with it and uh, but other than that we have not had any accidents so i'm so proud of her and we are gonna have to work on um uh, like i said still working on getting her to go number two more comfortably in there and not waiting and then also to get her out of a pull up at night time but i'm kind of not in a rush for that but um so anyways i'm sure we'll get to it soon enough but she's doing so good for now that it's fine so um i'm not sure if i left anything else out basically it's just staying consistent and committed to doing it and you know just continuing to show them praising them and rewarding them and just making it an exciting thing even though it's like not the most exciting thing in the world but it really is it's just great like once they get it down it's so nice to know like you know you taught them they learned that from you and you know they're just continuing to grow and just learn new things so she's singing a washer um, so anyway um if you stayed with me this long thank you so much for watching and i hope this helps any of you moms who are yeah. um, about to start potty training or struggling with it or whatever it may be um i will see you on the next video and i will link everything that i used um down below but mila's getting impatient she wants to go play outside so anyway thank you for watching also i do want to add i know that not all kids will learn just in like one day or whatever and um but i think the key is like Mila learned so quickly, I think, because I didn't try to push her too early. And I remember asking the pediatrician at her two year checkup if that was something that we needed to do right away. And she said there was no need in rushing it and they would let you know when you were when they were ready. So I guess putting it off kind of worked because um, I think sometimes whenever you try to do it too early, kids are more like hesitant or they're more resistant. and um so anyway it just makes the whole process harder and so with Mila she is two and a half a little over two and a half and I started realizing she was ready because we would have to change her diaper like all the time because the second that it was wet she'd be like mom change my diaper change my diaper she didn't like that feeling and then she was just recognizing every single time that she went and so aside from just going through diapers like crazy especially during this pandemic or whatever is going on right now um that was just not fun and so i was like okay we need to start uh, potty training her so you know just there's no need to rush and there's no um like i've had people message me and ask like what i did and how mila learned so quickly and how they were frustrated because theirs isn't and you know every kid is different and there's things i'm sure that they would learn faster than mila and it's not a comparison game or anything like that it's perfectly fine to do it when you're ready and when your child is ready and um so yeah i just wanted to add that and of course like uh i would just continue to keep doing if mila wouldn't have caught on after the first day i would have continued to do the exact same thing the second day and third day and so on until she caught on so anyway just don't get frustrated and stay patient and you know it's something that 
it's hard, but it'll pass and uh, you'll both get through it. So anyway, just wanted to add that. I didn't want to leave the video off with like, oh, Mila learned in one day and that was it because it wasn't. So anyway, thank y'all for watching.